everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts and today I am showing you how I make my own ink pad. So um, yes, obviously you can use the standard ink pads, but obviously they only have one colour in them. So what I do is I have this empty uh, case um, from the stamps um, and I put uh, some wet wipes in. Now, in a previous video, I've been using this same setup, but j with just one wet wipe, and I don't think that's enough because it kept c coming up with the stamp. In a in a couple of videos ago, I used it with several wet wipes, and that worked perfectly well. So I'm doing it again with several wet wipes, okay? And I'm using the in colors, the Blackberry Bliss, Mossy Meadow. Yeah, I know I can't read it anymore. <laughs> Lost Lagoon. Um, Tangelo Twist and um, Hello Honey. Now I've chosen these colours for my projects that I'm doing for the 12 days of Christmas so this video is part of that but I just thought I would show you how I do this because there's so much going on in the videos it's um, you know this is too much to show you in those as well so I thought I'd do an extra one. So we want to get started with some green obviously so let's put some Mossy Meadow on. And this one is nearly empty, I think. I've got another one, don't worry. <laughs> I do use my uh, re inkers quite a lot. And we put some... Blackberry Bliss is really... Um, it's almost gooey when it comes out. It's It's not so liquid as all the other inks that that we use. And you're thinking, oh, that's never going to work out. Well, it is. But you just need a lot of ink. I'm just going to go in with some more. But what I want to do is have some of every colour everywhere. Not too much orange and not too much yellow. But we're going to fill up the bits later on with the green and the blackberry bliss again. Okay, so that's enough for the Hello Honey and the Tangelo Twist. Then I'm going to go in again with some more green. And I'm actually going to enlarge the green dots. And I'm going to show you how to ink up your stamps on this as well, because it's not the same as with an ink pad. Now, I don't... This is not, for, for me, this is not a one-off use. I can use this for quite a, a lot of um, projects. Um, I I haven't got much black bliss here. That doesn't come out so easily. I tend also to, once I think, oh, that's it, It's not. there's not much left in there. Either you can add to it. And you can still see if you, you know, if you have a bright light, you can still see where you've put certain colours. Although that it will blend, you will be able to see that. Um, so you can add to it, but obviously at one point you have to give in and, and chuck it out. Um, but before I do so, I do still try and um, stamp one, one Sheet Wonders. So I just ink up and stamp as much as I can. Um, I think I'm going to, actually, what I might do is get a lighter green in as well. So just so that uh, it gives a little bit of a variation of green. This is Pepper Zaz. That's probably too light. Oh, and this is Wild Wasabi. And this is <laughs> Cucumber Crush. Anything that I... Ah, here. Old Olive. That's what the one I want. Uh, just so that it gives me a little bit of a lighter green in between. Okay, so this now needs to blend. And by the time you see this in videos, it'll be all black, or nearly all black, you know, it'll be really, there won't be a white uh, bit left. So yeah, so those are the ones we've used. Now, important. <laughs> Get rid of that ink that's on your nails or anywhere else. Okay. 
So here we have our ink pad and I've got a sheet of uh, very vanilla here and I'm just going to go for it really. I'm just going to go and stamp. So I'm going to go down and then slightly move it about like this. Oh, I'm so... And every leaf will be different. So let's see what we can make of it. Let's do a one sheet wonder. And I forgot my piercing mat. <laughs> It'll be okay. No, it wasn't okay. So, piercing mat, where is it? Aha, uh -huh, here. Yep, something else fell down then as well. Okay, so that that's what happens when you do not use a piercing mat, okay? Not everything of your photopolymer stamp will hit the paper and you will have to start again. Now, generally, I do not clean my stamp in between when I'm doing this. So let's see whether this is better i have to say in the beginning it might not you can you hear that you need to sort of squish it can you see the difference between this bit and that bit this is getting blended and that bit isn't yet so you need to sort of um you know squish it about a bit see again but i think also it's because there's not enough uh ink in my ink pad yet but that's okay that's that's really what you need to do in the beginning when you've done this is do what i'm doing now uh, because your first impressions are not see that's a beautiful one look at that your first impressions are not going to be perfect nor are there going to be enough ink on there okay so you need to just do this to get see look that's perfect to get um you know the ink going in there get the juices going in that ink pad and what i suggest you do is do what i'm doing now you know play about a bit and then re-ink it and then start because you can still see where the colors were just re-ink it on the colors that you see and then um there's a blob there look let's clean that off and then just um you know Oh, that was a little bit of that gooey blackberry bliss on there. See, see, it's going better all the time. But you just need to um, just need to do this so colours can blend, and you can get used to. Oh, this is half off this. Yeah, you can get used to the uh, to the stamping this way and inking up this way as well. See, that's a nice one. So yes, I am liking the colours. That's that's uh, for sure. Just needs to. It will get better as you ink up a little bit more. See, there's a little bit of that gooey stuff again from that blackberry bliss. Oh, don't don't worry. I'm just going to stamp it. But yes, like I said, this is my trial. Maybe we can cut some out and use them anyway. Um, I'm not too worried, but. Yes, you don't stamp straight on a card. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, don't use this um, ink pad straight away on a card. And like I said, you can re-ink it, so it it will last a lot, quite a long time. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Yes. So yes. So what I'm doing, going to do now is I'm going to re-ink in some of the places. Actually, it doesn't really need it. But just so that I have lots to go because I have a lot of projects coming up. So, and I'm going to keep stamping a little bit more, I think. Because, <laughs> do you know what? I think I might just still do this one sheet wonder thing. Because, to be honest, it's not... Well, that one didn't go very well. But if you put something over that, you can still use that, can't you? I mean, why not? Look at all the different... Every leaf, look at this. Look, that's orange and greeny. That's more a reddish. That's, re you know, every leaf I'm doing. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Is different. I'm stamping unique ones each time. Right, so, like I said, I'm going to add to this so it becomes really nice and moist. Once I'm finished for today, I will just close this up and it will stay like this. Don't put it like that because it will some uh, juice will run out probably. But look, it hasn't even gone down through this through the back yet. Um, I put one, two, three, I think, but they're still folded, so it's quite, it's nearly as thick as my uh, no, not not 
not as thick, but nearly as thick as the uh, case. So I did put quite a few layers in and I just put three, three or four and they're still folded up. So it's quite a thick, um, you know, it's quite this, this thick, I would say. And like I said, it's not gone through the back yet. Once it is gone through the back, that's when you have a really nice and juicy uh, stamp uh, pad, ink pad, I mean. But like I said, it does, you know, if you have quite a lot of projects, do go ahead and fill it up with lots of ink and you can use it and you can keep using it for a while. But if you don't, then I would just do the one um, wet wipe and do the ink on there and then get the ink out of there and then uh, use it like that. But I think it's a lot easier if you have a heavier ink pad that stays down so you can do the quick uh, stamping like I was doing just now. And yes, um, do have a go uh, at trying out your ink pad before you put it on a card. I hope this tutorial was uh, handy for you and happy stamping. Bye! Thank you.